Well, we have team coverage for you on weather tonight. Yes, our new meteorologist Peyton Domsky is here to join me with the latest on this forecast. And it's uh, it's it's not terrible no, out there. It's what I think folks might call bland for this time I of the year. That's <laughs> it. You know, maybe the occasional sprinkle, maybe the occasional flurry, but that's really what we're looking like here over just the next couple of hours beyond that sprinkle or flurry chance. We're really going to stay cloudy. That's going to dominate the even overnight hour too. Now as we head into the day tomorrow, the bigger trend is going to be some mild air back into place here. Highs tomorrow are actually going to trend about 10 degrees above where we typically see them. We're usually in the low 40s tomorrow. We are going to make it into the mid 50s and that's just the start of it all. Betsy things are going to warm up, but we also have the chance for some wet weather in the forecast as well. Yeah, all eyes are really focused on Saturday as far as our forecast goes. There's a lot that we're going to pack in here in the next 72 hours. We are now in the 72 hour window of these major changes. Peyton mentioned uh, the rain snow chance this evening. You see on the radar, there's a little wave moving through. Not really anything that's going to make a mess of anything, but just more notable than anything else. You, you know, the little drip on the windshield or whatnot. Meanwhile, out to the west, we are starting to see a lot of cloud cover surging south toward California, and then you see these clouds moving out toward Texas. This is the beginning of this storm system starting to wrap up and as it wraps up the storm track can usually be identified by warnings and advisories. What you see here in these pinks that's a winter storm warning. That's where the winter the cold side of this storm system is going to go. So if that's where the cold side is going you can bet that the warm side is going to be running in parallel and where the warm side is you get the severe thunderstorm chance. So for Friday and Friday night there is going to be or there is expected to be an outbreak of severe weather in the Tennessee Valley. And you can see Ohio is kind of on the edges of that. So a little rumbler in our forecast. Then by the time we get into Saturday, all of that starts to shift east. It starts to move away from its really good energy source. So not as much of a severe threat at this point, but we may still have some of those rumblers lingering into the early afternoon on Saturday. Here is the hour by hour forecast on this big picture. Watch how this thing just starts to rev up and come together as we head through tomorrow afternoon. There's your winter side. Here's your storm side uh, with the summer type severe thunderstorms. We'll have a frontal boundary that kind of moves north into the Great Lakes region by Friday evening. That may pop a few rain showers in here. So late Friday, the rain starts. Look at the thunderstorms starting to develop out here to the west and they all start to move through here by late Friday night into early Saturday morning. So we're probably going to have overnight thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong. We're probably going to get some big wind gusts out of that. But the front isn't even through yet because the front itself is not going to come in until we get into the early afternoon. There it is on Saturday. When that front goes through, I bet you you're going to know it because temperatures are going to be in the 60s ahead of it. They're going to be falling fast behind it and the wind is going to be kicking up big time. Now, I know a lot of folks say, oh, we never get thunderstorms in December. Well, actually, yeah, we do. It's not terribly common. These are severe thunderstorm warnings issued by the National Weather Service office in Cleveland. How often they are issued, how many have been issued over the years, 86 to 21 and by month. And notice here, this is December. We've had 37 severe thunderstorm warnings that have been issued in the month of December here for the National Weather Service office in Cleveland. So is it uncommon? Yes, but it's not unheard of. Here's your union home mortgage forecast. 50s tomorrow. Again, that's late. 60s and falling heck of a day coming our way on Saturday by Sunday. It's like nothing happened. Clearing skies, beautiful conditions stretching into the early part of next week with another warming trend getting back in our direction here. Jay, I love those 60s. You got two. That's that looks great. I'll take the rain with it.